Brexit Britain has been backed by Australia over the UK's trade spat with the EU. As the second round of talks between the two commences today, talks resumed today, with Australia's High Commissioner to the UK, George Brandis insisting the UK remains a trusted partner despite the controversy surrounding the UK internal market bill, asked whether the new legislation alters the framework of Australia-UK negotiations, he insisted nothing had changed, he told Morning Trade UK. We Australians regard the UK as a most trustworthy partner. The bill will will continue its committee stage reading today on the most controversial element as the Prime Minister attempts to push the legislation through Parliament. The bill sparked controversy on the continent following its introduction to the Commons earlier this month. However, Mr Johnson agreed a deal with Tory rebels in order to stop a potential revolt. The compromise means MPs will be given a vote on when to use the powers within the UK internal market bill. UK and EU officials will hold informal talks later this week as the two sides attempt to agree a deal. If the legislation passes, some EU officials have threatened to take legal action against the UK. One EU diplomatic source told Express Co UK, What we have discussed amongst ourselves is that we will take a look at the end of September, early October, to see what the options are. The next negotiating round on the 27th of September is quite an important one because we really need to get an indication that progress is being made on two fronts, trade talks and the UK internal market bill, and if not, then we will carefully consider our options.